campaign to suppress nationalists in northeastern Guizhou was a counter-guerrilla, counter-insurgency campaign the communists fought against the nationalist guerrilla that was mostly consisted of bandits and nationalist regular troops left behind after the nationalist regime withdrew from mainland China. The campaign was part of the Chinese civil war in the post-World War II era fought in northeastern Guizhou, and resulted in communist victory. This campaign is a major part of campaign to suppress bandits in southwestern China during the Chinese civil war in the post-World War II era. Order of Battle Nationalists Northeastern Guizhou People's Self-Salvation Army commanded by Xi Zhaozhu Sichuan, Guizhou, Hunan, Hubei Popular Self-Defense Army commanded by Chen Quan. Other bands such as those commanded by Lu Gongwang. Communists under unified command by Zhen Shaoshan. Detachments of 31st Division of the Communist 11th Army. Detachments of 32nd Division of the Communist 11th Army. Detachments of 34th Division of the Communist 11th Army. Detachments from Communist Peeling Military Subdistrict. Detachments from Communist Yuyang Military Subdistrict. Detachments from Communist Zuni Military Subdistrict. Detachments from Communist Tengren Military Subdistrict. Campaign. After Communist takeover of Guizhou in November 1949, the few surviving nationalists failed to escape in time decided to join the locals to continue their struggle against their communist enemy. Five counties in northeastern Guizhou including Daozhen, Zhengai, Wuchuan, Jianhe, Ingdezhang were controlled by the nationalist guerrilla. The communists decided to eliminate these threats. In September 1950, communists gathered enough troops from various detachments and formed the Bandit Eradication Command, and the deputy commander-in-chief of the communist eastern Sichuan military district, Zhen Shaoshan, was put in charge of the new command. The first stage of the campaign began on September 22, 1950 when 20 communist battalions totaling around 13,000 began their simultaneous attacks on the following four counties, Daozhen, Zhengai, Wuchuan, and Yanhe, all of which fell into communist hands immediately. By the beginning of October 1950, the organized resistance of bandits have mostly ceased. Communists strengthened their political pressure and most bandits were forced to surrender. In the period of 50 days, over 28,000 bandits were annihilated, including over 22,000 surrendered and defected to the communists. The second stage of the campaign began on November 18, 1950 and a total of 10 communist battalions concentrated their efforts in the Fanjing Mountain region where surviving bandits had fled to. After 11 days of fighting, over 4,100 bandits were annihilated, with Major Bandit Chief either captured or killed. The communists subsequently declared the campaign was over as the northeastern Guizhou region was secured.